is mental toughness, mental toughness, mental toughness. I think winning in business is really a mind game. You've probably heard this many times. And so today we're going to talk about uh, how to do that. And so uh, my name is Mauricio Garcia. For those of you that are tuning in to this podcast for the first time, for those of you that follow it every single day, welcome back and thank you for being here. Smart choice of uh, being here and getting the real elements, the real substance, the meat that can help us excel in business. And uh, I'm always excited to bring into the stage the one and only, the Hall of Fame entrepreneur who I love to call my friend because he is my friend. He's my mentor. I respect him a lot. Changed my life. Mr. Hubert Humphrey, how are you today? How do you feel today? I'm glad to be here, man. I'm feeling great. And I'm gl always glad to be with a great superstar mentor like you. You know, I, I love the, I love the, we got the generational balance here of what, of what I've seen all these various generations. And here you are coming along in this era of technology and can be a great superstar. So I just love partnering with you. I, lo I love the fact that you're, you understand we can have a great future because we have a great history to learn from, and that's a Absolutely. that's an asset that a lot of people don't have to pull to, to pull from, and 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 just whole staying power. That's a great subject today. It is a great subject, Hubert, and uh, I'm I'm I've got a lot of emotions, but but let let's let's give to people uh, what they tune in uh, to this podcast to get, which is uh, real value. So. Staying power, you know, um, this is the legendary John Wooden uh, has great teachings. So you know more about the story. Obviously, it's, it's your book. I'm just kind of ready with the rest of the podcaster to digest it in a way that you can <laughs> well, elaborate well, deeper into it. You know, we as we've stated along, you know, we talk about Alexander. We talk about Ray Kroc. We talk about all these great leaders, uh, modern day leaders today, like Elon Musk and in, uh, in, in, in Bezos, and, and here we are talking now about, we talked about Vince Lombardi here, I think, on the last podcast. And exactly. Now we're, now we're talking just a little bit about uh, some of the principles that John Wooten uh, talked about. For some of you that don't know who he was, you know, he, he coached a lot of places. He, he, was a good, he was a good basketball player way back in his day, way, way back, and then he became a great coach, and he ended up at UCLA, and, uh, and, and uh, he, he, in all of his 27 years in coaching, as a head coach, he never had a losing system, a losing season. So think about that. 27 years as a head coach in, in, in major basketball, he never had a losing season. Now, that's staying power at the highest level. Definitely not luck. <laughs> that wasn't. And, and, uh, and so in his 27 years as a, as, as a head coach at UCLA specifically, he didn't have a losing season. And that was one of the top schools in the country. He holds the record for the longest winning streak in any major sport. And I remember when this was going on, I watched it. Man, it was just powerful. 80, they won eight, uh, UCLA Bruins won 88 games in a row over four seasons before they lost. Think about that. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about some staying power. Now, one, he had a system. But the other thing is he had a philosophy that inspired these guys to stay at it at a high level, uh, to, to do these things. In his, in his last 12 years, he won an unprecedented 10 national titles. In the last 12 years that he coached, he won 10 national titles, uh, uh, including an astounding seven in a row. Seven times in a row, he was the, the, the he won he won the collegiate national title mm -hmm. for for basketball. You know what the final four is? March Madness. He won that sucker seven straight times, ten out of twelve years. Yet uh, his approach his approach to winning uh, is going to shock you a little bit here. The simplicity of his approach to winning. This is what I loved about it. It's why it's why I selected it and put it in this manual. Is part uh, of the psychology here. Uh, Hubert, is it be, wasn't some. Be, before you go into that, and I apologize for interrupting you. I just wanted to, maybe I didn't set the stage properly because I, I started the podcast saying it's, it's mental toughness, which is part of having the right mentality to win big in anything in life. But it's really winning is one thing, and, 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 and we can all win. But staying there, staying at the top for, for prolonged periods of time, I'm talking for years if not decades 
is the kind of mentality that we need. So that's just to well, the, set well, the whole the conversation in the right platform. Well, that well that is a that is the ultimate form of mental toughness is mm-hmm. to be able to withstand all. Do you know that success becomes if you happen to become successful, if you happen to arrive at the top of what you're trying to reach, or you, this high lofty goal you've tried you hit. Uh, sometimes success becomes your biggest distraction, and most people can't handle success. Very few people ever get there, but when they do, they can't handle it most of the time. But he knew how to handle it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and and let's just talk a little bit about the staying power. It, it, that, it, let's, let's just break it down into, into three or four little points here. He said, he said like most coaches, my program re, uh, revolved around fundamentals, conditioning, and teamwork. You know, that's what most coaches do. All right. He says, but I I differed radically in several respects. I never tried to get my team, quote unquote, up for a game. See that that's that's an important point. He said I never tried to get them all pumped up just for this game. Uh, he says I never I never worried ab- uh, about how our opponents would play us. I never talked about winning. You know, he he didn't look at they didn't have films back in that early days. <laughs> But, mm-hmm. uh, but and even when he did, he didn't watch a bunch of film about his opponents. He watched film about his players uh, playing. But he didn't. He didn't worry about the other people. He made the other people had to worry about him. He didn't worry about them. He didn't. And he wasn't. He knew. He That's knew powerful. that he. He powerful. knew he didn't. If he if he had to go and pump his guys up with a big pump up speech before the game, that means that he knows he doesn't have a good system. He knows he doesn't have them in lockstep with him. Emotionally, and they're not mentally tough. So, so he knew that. Now he, he says, uh, "I believe." He, he, he says, uh, "He says I believe that for every artificial peak you create, and that's what rah rah sessions are and pump up sessions are. That's that's one reason why you go to any of my conventions, any of my talks. I've I've, I've been to for, for the last eight straight weekends. I've been at a boot camp." In it, holding boot camp in Atlanta with all different these different groups, 80, 90, 100 here or there, coming in every weekend for eight straight weekends, and everything in there is no there's no I, I don't you've been around me enough you were at a couple of them, I don't I'm not in there giving them artificial highs, I'm not out there giving them the raw raw speeches I can do that as good as anybody but I know I know that's artificial, I know that uh, that that's why going to all these online super seminars and the, mm-hmm. the the Grant Cardones and the Super the Tony Robbins and the this and the that those are very good in their own way and they do a, they're effective for some people and and I, I'm not I'm not opposed to them too, but it's not going to win for you. You probably the short the short lived because there's no yes, right. fundamentals. That's yeah, right. Yeah. He he said for I believe for every artificial peak you create you also create valleys. Just remember that. Of course, you know, it makes it, sense. It, it's like a if you get a sugar high eat too much sugar. What's going to come happen? What's going to happen soon after you have that? You have a crash. You crash. Same thing in, in motivations are, are like that. He says when you get too high for anything, emotion takes over and consistency of performance is lost, and you will be unduly affected when adversity comes. Mm. Think about that now, boy. Mm-hmm. That is that's profound. I mean, that's mm-hmm. deep. That's mm-hmm. something. It is. He because if, if if you if you're doing it, if you've let your emotions get too involved in what you're doing. You 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 you're not thinking with you're not thinking you're tr- the training that you've had to think a certain way under pressure is not being used because you switched it to all emotions. Now I love emotions, but they've got to be controlled, okay? And he's telling he's telling you that because uh, your your if 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 you if your emotions supersede your system, that's why I don't want to build a company that's personality driven, that's emotion driven. That if, if if all I can do is just live off one one guy Hubert Humphrey and, and that's the only way you can win and and I raw 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 you to death, well hey, it's not going it's not going to get there. Mm-hmm. It, we, you got to. That's why I love having a system driven company, is that it keeps the fundamentals in place forever. It it it, it creates deep. staying power. Staying that's deep, power. guys. Uh, if, yeah. You you're always looking for all the secrets of what caused us to build those big companies and to build this one today. Is we develop system staying power Boom. that superseded all the ups and downs that people were having out there. It leveled everything out. This, uh, this, this, um, uh, this. Here's a great quote. He says, 
I have often said that the mark of a true champion is to always perform near your own level of competency. In other words, you know what your level of competency is. If, 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 he always made sure that through training and repetitions and all the things that he did, he kept all these players on the team at, uh, up to a very high level of competency. There were times they could go higher than that, but he wanted to have a baseline of high-level competency for each person Mm-hmm. So, so that they, he had he had some predictability here. He says uh, w- we were able to do that by never being satisfied with the past and always planning for what was to come. I like that. Don't sit there and live off your press clippings. Don't sit there and say, "Well, I used to do it. I was a big shot." Well, no, that counts for nothing. What you got to do is you got to you got to you got to focus and plan for what you're going to do. Hey, well, he hey he won seven in a row. That, <laughs> All right, when he had when he had five, it'd be easy for them to say, "Yeah, man, we have won five in a row, man. That's pretty cool," and they could have easily dropped off. But he wouldn't even let them think about those five in a row. He he wouldn't even let them mention it. They 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 had to focus. All that was important was could they do the next one, and could they do the next one, and that's the, that's the, the the mentality there. Let's not he, live in the past, or yeah. That's exactly. right. He says, "I believe that failure to prepare." is preparing to fail. Think about that. Preparing to, pre- pre- failing to prepare is, is preparing to fail. And uh, I know a whole bunch of talented, wonderful people I've met in business out there that could be tremendous at what they do. They could have successful businesses, but they fail in the preparation part. Uh, they just think they can just jump out there and turn it on at any given time because they they used to do it a certain way, but they've kind of lost it. Yeah. They've, they've, too, they've too, forgotten Too, too optimistic this. maybe on their, their talents or something. I don't need preparation. Yeah. Too much confidence well, well, hey, on there. The, 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 the people who've got some this so-called natural talent and athletic, they've got the athletic body and, and all that. That's one reason why Art Williams helped dominate the insurance industry. Is he? He only wanted. He, he did it with greenies and newbies, new professionals. He wouldn't even let. He wouldn't even let industry guys with licenses come in for the first four or five mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. And 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 because he, he was when he was a high school football coach and won two state championships as a football coach, he didn't want any prima donnas on his team. He turned away some guys that were real talented, but they were cocky and they were talented and they didn't want to come in and pay the price and they they show up late for practice or miss a practice or two he was not a prima donna kind of guy he would rather have greenies than than than, than, than these prima donna types and so the wooten method is what he what he had he says uh he says this constant focus uh, on the future is one reason we continue to stay uh, uh continue staying near the top once we got to that level So, it, first of all, the same things that it's going to take to stay at that level is the same things it's going to take to get to that level. You just got to keep doing it. That's the hardest part is once you get there, you want to relax. Mm-hmm. Once you get there, you want to see. I mean, I could, I mean, I, I built a big company and then I, I could say, well, I've done that. No, but I, I got to go to the next one. I'm only, I'm only as good as the next great company I can build. That's, and and it's like, good to what, recognize that's really human nature. Your body thinks like it's going to try, it's going to want to relax once you get there. Or am I wrong? Right. You just have to identify. No, 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 no you're right. You're, 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 you're absolutely right on that. And, and but what he, but what he's telling you, is that if you can get yourself to that steady habit of staying at that high level of competency and don't turn it off, you can continue. The same things that got you there will continue to go, and you'll keep you'll keep at it. And then all of a sudden, your next goal is achievable because you never turned the the competency level down. You know what I'm saying? You kept it going. He, yeah. He, he could said, could we add the fact that maybe maybe many people will feel identified? It's happened to me a lot. Um, where let's just say, let let's just move it in and talk to your, your bank account, not your bank account, just the people to. Every, every every single one of us banks account is an example. When it's down to a certain amount, I think in, in a moment in everybody's lifetime, you probably are, your level of activity and the things you do when that thing is low is very different than when it is probably at 
a hundred times whatever you need to to cover your your expenses. Well, that's the way. Right? That's the way it is. With that's the way it is with individual people with their with their with their checking accounts, their assets, and all. When it's down, when you're hungry, you do better. When you get satisfied, the human nature for most people, unless they're conditioned, they relax. Hey, that's the way it is in, in with people. That's the way it is in families. That's the way it is in governments. That's the way it is in in businesses. It's to, to recognize, but right. but 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 it, in civilizations, you go back and you, you you go study history. Go look through the Bible at all the great, the Babylonian, all these great civilizations that became famous and conquerors and. Then they got satisfied, and then they were destroyed. Look, look at the Roman Empire. My gosh, what happened to it? It, it, it it's all the fall. The yeah. fall was it, its success uh, uh, pinned its failure. Its failure came because it uh, they got too satisfied. And, and let's watch and, out, because as a country, as you're saying, you know, last podcast we're saying we're kind of in that maybe too comfortable. Uh, you, the, uh, these great these great empires have uh, have never passed the third generation. The third mm. century, and, uh, and 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 the U.S. now is in its third century, so it's got to work like crazy to get past this third century without uh, getting too complacent. And that's why yeah. uh, that's why us entrepreneurs are going to keep the spirit alive in in this country. Absolutely. And here's another thing. Amen he said, to that. Yeah. He said, he, "Here's here's what Wooten says. He says I probably scouted opponents less than any coach in the country, uh, less uh, less than most high school coaches." Uh, he says, "I don't, I don't need to know that this forward, uh, that's a t- team player, likes to drive the outside. You're not supposed to gi- uh, uh, give the outside away anyway to any forward. In other words, I don't need to know that some superstar on this next team I'm playing likes to do this. We're supposed to be so trained that we cover that for anybody on any team, not just any specialized superstar. So I mean, he he says." He says, sound offensive and defensive principles apply to any style of play. He said, while it may be possible to reach the top of one's profession on sheer uh, ability, it's impossible to stay there without hardworking character. Just remember that. You, you, you may develop the ability to get there, but it's going to be paying that price, which we talked about yesterday, that willingness to pay that price and that strength of character to stay at that, stay at it is what's going to keep you there. And uh, t- to me, yeah, it's fun getting there once, but it's a whole lot better when you can just stay at that level and live at that level in your life of, of whatever it is. It not you don't have to be the world's greatest anything, but just just raise your level of competency. And, and Pat Pat Riley, when he took over the, the Lakers back in the day to help transform them back into the to the, to the Showtime era, uh, he, he taught his people about the career best effort. We've talked about this before on a mm-hmm. podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, go go find uh, go find your career best effort. And and, and and all people like Lombardi did, Pat Riley did, all that uh, all that uh, Alexander did teaching his army, all that Wooten did with his team, is that he taught them: Can the new you beat the old you? If 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 the best if your best days are behind you, that means you can't have staying power. So that was how simple it was. He just find out how we're not talking about numbers on a leaderboard. We're talking about can the new you still compete and beat with the old beat the old you? And, and, and he it and should he be in, mo- in most cases, right? Got more experience, yeah, yeah. right? But, hey, experience is the experience though. To satisfied people is of no value anymore. Great point. I mean, I think that's what speaks to character. I, 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 my eyes been on this on this last thing of this last paragraph you read. It's good. While while it may be possible to reach the top of one's uh, profession on sheer ability, it is impossible to stay there without hard work. I understand hard work and character. Character. character that's the key you know character can, the char- character is you can you do things without being pumped up mm-hmm. without artificial means can you can you become the world's bodybuilding champion without being filled with steroids <laughs> you know mm-hmm. you see you know what I mean can you do it can, can you do it without artificial means and, and if you can you're probably going to be able to hold it 
you're probably going to be able to st to stay stay at that level. You know, you don't Awful you stuff. don't get too high, don't get too low. Everything's just right. Just it, it, you got to have th coaches and mentors like Wooten and Lombardi and all these great leaders, great generals. They were like thermostats. They they weren't thermometers of whether if they you could be too high or too low. But it, but they they could do something about it. If they saw that you were you were cooling down, they're gonna heat you up just a little. If they saw that you were too high, they're gonna cool you down just a little bit. They're gonna keep you at that level of competency that you can attain and maintain. So it is about that, guys. It is about the, the staying power. I would maybe just add to wrap it up today. I heard Huber say, you know, one thing is uh, staying at it for a few days, a few months. As a matter of fact, some people have the, the ability to stay excited and do something for a few weeks, a few months. Very few do it for a few years and almost no one, very, very few do it for decades. And it requires its, this type of mentality to have that staying power uh, to, in, and just have that, make, make winning a habit. So, one, of the, one of the greatest gifts that I want to leave, that would saddest give me, of all the things we've ever accomplished in, in, in my personal life and in our business life, collective business life, I would, I, would, I would want to be able to accomplish passing on these kinds of principles and building character in a bunch of people to where they can go out there long after I'm gone that will be able to go out and achieve success and maintain it and not be just flashing the pans, not these one-hit wonders. That's what I want to leave behind. And, 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 and I know there's a bunch of people out there that will, that will respond to this sort of stuff and probably have maybe heard it from other places, not just from me, but uh, will be this next generation. There'll well, be I books written that'll have your, your story in it because you, you were examples of this staying power. You know, I walked into a Barnes and Nobles a few years back I picked up a success magazine, saw a little red CD back in the day when CDs were the thing, put that CD on my CD player, and I bought a dream. It was you. It was you speaking, showing you know that we could do things, that we could achieve bigger things. I was... Uh, trapped in a uh, assembly line welding cell phone batteries. And I look back from the moment I picked up that CD and your type of messaging came to my life, it's changed my life. So what I'm saying is that uh, the world is much better because of these types of teachings. I'm excited to be part of this project because I'm, I'm, I'm a leaving proof or testament that I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't born with the, you are going to be a cell phone welder, battery welder, you know, in, in my butt. And so, uh, yeah, I'm sure this, this type of message will reach well, a lot of people. Well, today, today Ma Mauricio, yeah. the, the, today the, the, the podcast and this social media world that we're in and the messages that we get out through the platforms sub is a new substitute for that Barnes & Noble book that you picked up. These people today can pick up these podcasts. They can pick up, they can pick up these messages and these images and thoughts that we're putting out there, and it's it, it's go, it can happen to so many people just like it happened to you. Just a more modern way of doing it. Absolutely, and that's why I'm saying that it's it's going to be accomplished. This last thing said you wish that you do, it's the no, most noble thing I've ever seen anybody do. And it's real teachings. When most of the stuff out there is just entertaining, think no substance stuff. This is the real stuff. Maybe not may not be the most popular stuff, but it's the real stuff that really changes lives. So, so uh, it's a great way to end uh, today's today's podcast is the the last podcast of the week. So excited for what we have in store for next week. And for those of you that are listening in today live, and for those of you that are probably also listening to the recording. I just want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting uh, the podcast. And before you go, I want to ask you to go check out Hegemon Group International's opportunity by going to hgiopportunity.com. Why? Because if you're looking for the right vehicle today, if you're looking for the best opportunity, an opportunity with real substance that deliver real value, real solutions to people, and what kind of solutions am I talking about? financial solutions that provides the right opportunity. See, today people need to make more money. 
the you know i don't want to you know what i i'll just i'll just leave it to hubert he he just he created a whole 15 minute video that explains beautifully why you need to consider if you if you are trying to find a vehicle that is going to take you from where you are now to where you where you want to be whatever that financial freedom is for you go there it's going to be a much better experience than if I try to explain it to you right now. So go to HGIOpportunity.com. Find out what the best opportunity in America is today. Take advantage of it. And I hope that one day I can stretch my hand and uh, get to meet you personally. Hubert, have a great weekend, sir. We'll see you on Monday to continue on this great, great cause, your great mission. All right. Will do. Take care. Warning. This podcast may change the way you think about business, entrepreneurship, and money forever. The Conquistador Podcast was created for dreamers, entrepreneurs, and leaders who want to conquer their future. future, future. To be an epic entrepreneur, you must adopt the right mental paradigms as well as master the art of selling, marketing, and finance. 